Hi guys, it is time for my March favourites and I'll admit I kind of struggled this month uh, looking back to find some favourites. I have had a tough March um, and so I'm probably not in the best frame of mind for like picking fun things to show you. So what I did this morning was sat down and uh, went back through some of the things that I've created in March uh, and picked some favourites based on those. So let me clean up this mess and I'll um, share those with you now. So the first thing I was loving in March was um, my 31 Minutes for 31 Days mini pocket page notebook album. Um, and it, I still feel like it's a favorite, but the reason for that kind of changed throughout the month. So this is one chunky little book. So I did pop it in a fabric traveler notebook cover from the stamp spot just to keep it a little bit protected because um, it is pretty huge and so I shared a few videos um, of this album through through the month in fact it may only have been two I can't really remember to be honest um, and I really enjoyed the challenge that I set myself the taking the selfies and the creating a page um, it worked really well um, up until we had just March just fell apart to be honest and after that um, my process for this book sort of changed it became less about self-image and self-acceptance um, and it turned into something else and I'm still really pleased that I carried on I could have stopped I easily could have stopped um, but I decided to keep going and in all honesty I kept taking the selfies and I didn't necessarily always put a page together there are quite a few pages especially towards the back of this book here um, where I just didn't get a page done and I'm okay with that I'll carry on working through it slowly because I like this book now because it is a statement to myself that I'm here, I'm still standing, these things have happened, um, but it's okay, that, you know, you don't have to have uh, a brilliant, perfect selfie uh, every day, sometimes even when you're having an absolute shitter, um, you can still take a photo of yourself just as a reminder that you can survive whatever's happening to you at the moment, uh, and that's what this book has turned into, so... Um, reasonably sure that's the last page I managed to get done. I have printed out my photos and just popped them into the book and I will work my way through here slowly. I've only got a few more to do um, but it's just it's taken me a while to come back. We've had several setbacks uh, this month so I'm just taking it easy on myself and I will finish this when I finish it basically that's you know this is as much as I've done when I do eventually finish this book I will do a proper walkthrough with you and show you some of the things that I've done um, and explain a bit more about what happened but at the moment this is definitely a favorite it's a uh, reminder of a terrible month and that I have made it through and can carry on moving forward my next favorite is somewhat less existential um, it's a t-square ruler and it really has changed how I do things um, I think I first saw Missy Wooden using these and I was trying to track down a smaller one and if you saw my haul video you'll know all about the um, misreading uh, that it allowed me to buy one that's so huge I can't even show you here on camera but um, I did finally track down a 30 centimeter one or a 12 inch one and it has just made such a difference for getting straight lines and straight journaling in both my travelers notebooks and uh, scrapbook layouts so this was a real lifesaver and I'm super pleased that I managed to track one down so my next favorite is a tiny bit difficult to show you because I literally have nothing left actually that's not true hold on this is all I've got left 
I have one piece of Heidi Swap specialty paper um, and this is involved in a whole different favourite. So my favourite was the March scrapbook add-on kit from Citrus Twist and like I say I used every last scrap of that sucker um, and the favourite thing I made with it was a bunch of 3x4 journal cards, filler cards, um, just fun little things that I made to fill up a bit of time. So I'll insert some pictures here of the things that I'm talking about because that's all I've got left. What I did with these cards is put together a couple of pocket letters. Um, once I had the cards made that was super easy. I just popped them into some pocket pages and added a few other little extra bits and pieces, mostly from the kit plus a few embellishments that I had sitting around my desk. Uh, and then I gave them away on Instagram and poor planning on my part. I didn't do this video before I sent them to the winners yesterday. I only realized that this morning. So all I've got is these pictures to show you, but um, I'm was loving the kit. I'm loving how these pocket letters turned out and I am definitely planning on doing a little bit more in the way of happy mail. So then I'll carry on. My next favorite is involving this specialty paper, but I don't know if you can see, I didn't actually use it as a specialty paper as much as I used it as a stencil. Um, because one of the things I've been loving doing this month is using sort of modeling paste or um, impasto gel and doing some stenciling. I don't do mixed media very often, as you'll know. Um, but I have had a bit of fun with that this month, so I think it actually started in my 31 minutes book on this page here. So this was that stencil down there, and it's kind of hard to tell, but for this one here, I used a little bit of impasto gel. I just used this one here mixed with some Perfect Pearls Perfect Pearl powder. Um, mixed that together and then used it, scraped it over the top of the stencil just with my regular palette knife onto some of the tealy colored cardstock that came in that add-on kit from Citrus Twist. Um, and it just creates, you can kind of see it a bit more there, just this beautiful shimmery um, effect. It actually is much less subtle in real life I guess um, and I really loved it. Now you'll have seen another video recently. I used the same stencil again um, this time with just modeling paste um, onto vellum to add into the pocket of my pocket page notebook and again I love how that turned out. You get this sort of transparent translucent sort of effect with these um, more opaque stenciled pieces and I love them. So I have used that stencil Sorry, it's a bit of paper, it's a bit of cardstock, so it's done really well. I've used it three times, I think, and it is getting a tiny bit raggedy. I'm being really careful with it each time, um, and I'm still going to keep using it until it falls apart, basically. So that was good. And another one I did, uh, this was a page for Kelly stamps, and I did the same thing here. I cut um, a cut file this time. So again, it's just a stencil from card. This was a cut file from Paige Evans, a whole bunch of tiny stars. And I used the same modeling paste, but just mixed it up with a little bit of ink. So just some dye inks. Um, I just used some of this clear packaging, stamped the ink pad down a few times, and then mixed in a little bit of modeling paste. And it's kind of hard to tell on camera, but in real life there are three different colors of yellow um, I just sort of mushed them about I'm sure that's the technical term for stenciling like this on here um, and again it's a really thin texture but I do love the texture that it has it's really I don't know if this is going to focus on here so that you can see it it is really subtle but it is a really different texture especially with this modeling paste it's, super matte and yeah just textural I really loved it so that is my next favorite using stencils and whatever I can put through the stencils so then my last favorite for the month I guess is a category which is cut files I've really been enjoying using cut files this month um, it started when Virginia from Confessions of a Paper Addict um, invited me to be part of her hot 
for the opening of her new Etsy store um, and I used this cut file from her eat sleep craft repeat um, to create this layout here um, and at the same time that I was cutting that cut file I decided since I had my software open and the silhouette going um, I would just cut a few other cut files as well so I did quite a few different things in March with cut files and really enjoyed it it's I know not everybody has um, electronic cutting machines and I also get that they are a huge investment I bought mine five six years ago maybe with the intention of doing my wedding invitations and I wasn't sure how much um, use outside of that I was going to get and actually now that I think about it um, I didn't even end up using it for my wedding invitation so thank goodness I get quite a lot of use out of my silhouette anyway um, so I know that they are a huge investment and if you're not um, able or willing to spend that money on a cutting machine then I totally get it but I I love my silhouette. I love how easy it makes things, to be honest. Like, I'm such a cheater when it comes to scrapping like that. Um, I can cut this title, I can cut the little inside pieces, put it all together and stick it on a page and be done really quickly. And that's the sort of thing that I love about it. Plus, I get to use everybody else's genius. So, this is another cut file from... Um, the Confessions of a Paper Addict store and I just used it to create this little page of Lily and each letter they weren't all fill-in ones which was even more brilliant um, so I only had to fill in a few these ones I used some Rosie Studio I think it's the Sugar Bell line uh, and then for the letters I just added a few little things about Lily that match those um, those letters so again super easy way to fill in a page but also a super easy way for me to work out what journaling I want to use. I've also been loving the cut files from Citrus Twist. I um, used this one in a traveler's notebook which I guess you don't always think about using cut files in the smaller sort of format because they are generally sized for 12 by 12 pages. I don't even have a 12 by 12 silhouette. I've only got a portrait so I can only cut eight inches wide. Um, so using them in the smaller format for my traveler's notebooks is something that I do all the time. So actually there was one so apart from using the cut file for my stencil here, I also used a cut file on this side as well, which is again another Paige Evans one. Um, and these smaller cut files, I really love them for traveler's notebooks um, too, again for the ease of it. And um, yeah, so many gorgeous cut files out there, I just can't stop buying them. So that's it, that's my March favourites. I'm hoping for a uh, much more productive and fun April. I know I have got um, a visit booked with my sister and Jack, so that is cheering me up no end. So leave me a comment down below and let me know what you're looking forward to in April or something that you're thinking about grabbing for yourself so that I can have a wee sneak peek too. I am still on my spending freeze, but um, that doesn't mean I can't look does it thanks for watching guys and I will catch you next time bye